A busy night on the roads all over the nation, really. Let's give you another live look. This is the drive home on the Thurber's Avenue curve tonight. There are huge travel projections for this year. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Kleiner has a live look at the current conditions out there from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Jared? Mike and Shannon, well, to tell the truth, we got some problems on 95 South right now near Providence Place. We're going to give you a live look here. We have a crash in a pretty bad spot, and it's right at the 610 connector, uh, 610 split, rather. So you have two right-hand lanes taken. You are getting by on the left. That is causing all sorts of problems through the stretch. It just happened probably about a half hour ago. Steady traffic ever since the morning rush. It seemed like we have seen heavier northbound volume. People heading into Massachusetts and points north. Uh, mass officials say the worst Wednesday travel window between 2 and 4 o'clock and tomorrow that becomes 11 to 1. New Englanders getting off work at various times Wednesday and beginning the Thanksgiving escape. 95 and highways through Rhode Island busy all day. Heavy downpours clogging the roads around them. Eyewitness News watching everything from high above the mobile newsroom and from inside the DOT nerve center that controls those highway cameras and message boards. DOT now posting up to the minute travel times on the roads just ahead of the holidays. AAA forecasting a real crush of travelers. Almost 51 million Americans will head 50 miles or more away from home during this Thanksgiving stretch. That is a 3% increase over last year, but more than that, it would mean the most Thanksgiving travelers in 12 years. And those flying, they are being pushed by the cheapest tickets since 2013. And another live look here at a crash that's tying things up on 95 South. The two right-hand lanes taken. You are getting by on the left-hand side. Again, we are near Providence Place. New at 6 o'clock, state troopers, they have been busy working crashes just like this one. Drivers knocking into one another, checking the roads again at 6 o'clock. We'll see you next hour. For now, live in Providence, above 95, Jared Planner, Eyewitness News. Right now at 6, breaking news 1, out in the midst of holiday travelers on the highway. Let's get a look at 146 North right here. Meanwhile, Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner has been monitoring the extremely busy highways around Providence all day long. We continue our team coverage now live. Jared. Mike and Shannon, well, Tony had some good news in the weather department. We have some good news because a crash that was tying up things here on 95 South last hour. Well, that is out of the way. It's since been cleared, and they got that out of the way uh, in fairly short order. Volume now lighter from what we can tell on both the north and southbound sides. The Wednesday pre-Thanksgiving flight, the overwhelming majority actually go by car. Eyewitness News watching waterlogged travel on the ground, from above, and from the DOT's traffic camera nerve center, Rhode Island State Troopers have been busy. We handled 23 accidents alone just last night, and we spent it, and now that was without the rain. So today we have the rain, and the troopers have been out there all day handling accidents. People need to slow down. Pay attention, put your phone down, pay attention to what you're doing. Keep a fair distance behind, between you and the car in front of you. It should be a minimum of two car length. It should never be any closer than that. AAA projecting over 50 million Americans will travel 50 miles or more away from home this Thanksgiving, the most in 12 years, even with holiday gas prices that are the highest since 2015. Gas Buddy pegs the national average at 253, still lower than four holidays ago when it was 279, and well below 2012 when it was the all time highest. 344 for a gallon of regular. And surely no one wants to go back to that. That 253, by the way, analysts say really offset by a strong economy and strong labor market. The travel, of course, not over. More tonight. And the second heaviest time, officials say, actually comes between 11 and 1 tomorrow. You could say before people sit down for that holiday meal. Live above 95 near Providence Place, Jared Planner Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jared. And here's another real-time look at the traffic situation in the Providence metro area with the pinpoint traffic map. The redder the road, the slower the traffic. Now here's a look at the drive times on some of the highways through the city. 95 North from Thurber's Avenue to the state offices is going to take you about eight minutes. 146 South from Middle Spring Avenue to 95. The merge there, that's a little bit better, just three minutes. And 95 South from the Pawtucket S-curve to 146 merge, that is just five minutes.